So this is what my current desk setup looks like right now. It's located in the den of my condo, which is pretty small. I can almost touch both walls with my arms spread out. The setup itself is bland, uninspiring, and just not a fun place to work. I mean, as of now, this is more of a storage room than a workplace. And I wanna change that since this is where I'll be working from home and creating content from. Now, whenever it comes to design inspiration, I always hop on Pinterest and look through some photos. I found a couple setups that I really liked and then went on Amazon to order similar products. And looks like they're delivered. So as you can see, I finally got all my packages. Like, look at all these packages over here. Not gonna lie, this is like my childhood dream, just having a bunch of boxes to unbox. I literally made space for everything. I mean, all this stuff to the side, and I have tons of space to unbox everything. Also, all the products in this video are linked below, so feel free to check them out. Let's start off with the first thing, which is the desk. This desk was sent to me by Periodic, who was the sponsor for this video. They make high quality standing desks and other desk accessories, but more on them later. I chose to go with their Aspire Wood standing desk with a 24 by 48 maple top and black legs. Look at that wood top though. They source their wood from high quality suppliers in Quebec and it really shows. The quality of this tabletop, not gonna lie, is so nice. Very solid, very heavy, and they already have pre-drilled holes too, which I really appreciate. Assembly was pretty easy for the most part. You get a manual and all the screws are labeled, which is nice. Oddly enough, I actually like building furniture. It kind of feels like adult Legos to me for some reason, but I'd definitely recommend getting another person to help because some of the parts are really heavy. Like flipping this table over by myself almost seemed impossible, but I got it done. This standing desk comes with four savable modes. The lowest height is 22 inches or 1.8 feet and goes all the way up to 48 inches or four feet. Next up is the unboxings. All the packages are blocking my front door so it's time to unbox them. There were still some items to construct like this LG monitor and this desk shelf from Barotic. Luckily, it only took a couple of minutes to put them together. This is what my apartment looks like right now and it's driving me crazy because I hate living in a messy area, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Now it's time to make space for the new setup. I took everything off my old desk, disconnected the wires and then moved it out. My tip for moving stuff by yourself is to place some clothes under one end of the item and then lift and push the other side. Then I moved in the new desk, cleaned it up a bit and put on the desk shelf. So it's the next day and I had a bunch of boxes blocking my path so I moved them all to the side and started taking them to the garbage one by one. I left a couple boxes for some returns but it feels so good to have my front door empty. Next it's time to add the tech accessories. First up is the monitor. I got a 4k 27 inch monitor from LG. Now I don't like monitor stands so I was initially going to put this on top of the desk shelf but it looked kind of off so I decided to put it underneath. This looks so much better and low key looks like it's floating. Next up we got this leather mouse pad from Briotic. It comes with a magnetic charging dock that has slots for an iPhone and AirPods. It's powered via USB-C and magnetically connects to the mouse pad. It also has a felt layer below where you can store documents, which is a nice touch. Speaking of Biotic, they are a Canadian company that offers high-end standing desks and office accessories. They take pride in providing both a beautiful and functional product that will last a long time. That's why they offer a 10-year warranty on their desks. If you're not a fan of wood desktops or would like to save a bit of money, they have another line of desks with premium laminate tops in a variety of colors. Biotic is also offering a 100 day risk free trial and will cover any return costs. So you really have nothing to lose. Click the first link in the description for $50 off your order. For the keyboard I chose to go with this 87 key mechanical keyboard. It's from a brand called 8-Bit Doe and is designed to look like a retro gaming console. I literally just got it because I thought it looked cool but after using it I really love the sound and feel of the buttons. It also comes with this set of programmable buttons, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to be sticking with the same mouse I had last time. It's a Logitech MX Master 2S. I love using it. It's very comfortable and has a lot of programmable buttons that help increase my efficiency. To power this setup, I'm going to be using my 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. This is by far the best computer I've ever owned. It has all the ports I need, an amazing screen, and it's just super fast. I'm going to be using a USB-C cable to connect it to the monitor for a sleek look. And lastly, I got these speakers, again, just cause they look cool. These are the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I'm excited to test them out. Now it's time to add stuff to the setup to make it more of a vibe. First up, we got these two little fake plant figures. I want to get real plants, but couldn't decide on anything until I found these guys. 
Let me know what I should name them in the comments down below, but they blend in so well with the speakers and add a nice touch to the setup. I also got this really cool looking vintage desk lamp. I really liked how the bulb looked in the picture, so that's why I got it. There's a dial on the base where you can turn it on and off and adjust the brightness. It actually gets pretty bright and I really love the warm light it gives off. Next, I got this compact iPad holder. You can pop out and fold the back leg to adjust the angle. It's a great way to display my iPad while being minimalistic. So far, I think the setup is looking great. Now it's time for the wall art. I found these prints online and they're made by a local Toronto artist. I really fell in love with the design, colors, and the message. After deciding on the placement, I put command strips on the back of the frames, dusted off the wall, and tried my best to measure out where they need to go. When it comes to hanging things on walls, I tend to make them crooked for whatever reason. Hanging them up was pretty easy and I think I did a pretty good job for the most part. Next, I'm going to be using these command strip hooks to hang up some lighting accessories I got. The first one I got is this lightning bolt neon sign. It has a soft warm color to it which I really like. This one was about 15 to 20 bucks and doesn't actually look like a neon sign, but it still looks nice. Next up is this one that says on air and honestly it actually looked and felt like a neon sign. It was really bright too and it kind of sucks that I can't control the brightness on these. After figuring out the placement of the signs, I stuck them on to the wall and then turned on the lights. They definitely make my room look a hundred times better, especially at night or when I'm using them as a backdrop to film videos. I decided to move my iPad over to the left hand side and then fill in the remaining space with a couple of books that I'm reading at the moment. I also got this wood wrist rest because the keyboard is pretty tall. Now I'm just going to go underneath and hook all the wiring up. Not gonna lie, this was pretty overwhelming considering how many wires there were, and I just felt a little bit lost trying to get all this under control, but I got it done. I know it doesn't look the best and it's kind of ugly, but you can't really see it when you're using the sandy desk, and it can go from the highest to the lowest setting without any issues. Just bringing in the chair to complete the setup. This is a Staples Dexley. I've had it for a while and it's very comfortable. Now, this is what the new setup looks like. So this is the final setup. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. It's fun, it's ergonomic, and it's a nice place for me to just be secluded and really focus on pushing out content because that's something I really need to do. I definitely am going to be adding a couple more things like I need some plants in here, some more wall art. I want my desk area to look like this and definitely some more storage units. I'm gonna be getting rid of these Alex drawers, so I want something more compact, so I have more room in this small den area. That's gonna be coming out in a part two slash updated video, but I'm gonna need some time to gather those things, so make sure you guys like the video and subscribe so you stay tuned for the next update. I also want you guys to comment down below anything I should add to the setup, what you guys liked about the setup and anything I could do to improve the setup. Don't forget to check out Verotic, they're linked in the description below. They sent me this standing desk along with a couple other cool accessories and they make really high quality desk products. So make sure you guys click the link below to check out their website and their products. I'll see you in the next video. Come on me, baby. Come on me.